James Webb Space Telescope has found a galaxy that should not exist yet again. At this point, it doesn't come as a surprise, does it? Since the telescope has made quite a few discoveries in the last couple of years that seem to defy our cosmology. But this one is just different, very different from anything we have discovered till now, and you will see why. The first thing you should know about this galaxy dubbed ZFUDS 7329 is that it's 11.5 billion years old. That seems to be okay considering that the universe itself is 13.8 billion years old, so there was enough time for the galaxy to have formed. The problems, however, start from here. The galaxy is massive, containing more stars than the Milky Way. That should not be possible for a galaxy that old. So astronomers used the James Webb Telescope to delve further into the galaxy. And here comes the big problem. Spectral analysis reveals that the stars in the galaxy had formed 1.5 billion years prior, which is roughly 800 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers aren't sure when the first stars began to come together to form galaxies. But the standard model estimates that the process began within the first few million years after the birth of the universe. After the Big Bang, astronomers believe that the first galaxies began to take shape around dense pockets of dark matter known as dark matter halos. These halos, exerting significant gravitational pull, attracted nearby gas and dust left over from the Big Bang, which would have otherwise been too hot to coalesce into celestial bodies like stars. These clumps of stars pulled in by dark matter halo reached adolescence between 1 billion to 2 billion years to form dwarf galaxies. These dwarf galaxies then collided with each other to form the type of galaxies that populate today's universe. Now coming back to galaxy ZFUDS 7329, its formation, just like every other primordial galaxy, to be dictated by concentration of dark matter. However, at that early stage of the universe, those crucial dark matter halos wouldn't have had enough time to develop. But the puzzle doesn't end here. Not only did the galaxy form without sufficient dark matter to initiate its growth shortly after a rapid burst of star formation, the galaxy suddenly became quiescent, halting its star-forming activity. Things in the universe have a pattern from microscopic to cosmic. Everything displays similar traits, for example, Things in the universe do not just pop into existence, nor do they just disappear into thin air. First law of thermodynamics says energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only altered in form. Planets form from stars, stars formed from galaxies. A dying sun, in some cases, forms a black hole. Even galaxies merge to form bigger galaxies. Atoms of different elements come together to form molecules. Living beings mate with each other to give birth to an offspring. In fact, if you look around, the whole universe is basically energy transforming from one form to the other. Now here comes the research from the University of Copenhagen in the Tokyo Institute of Technology that posits our universe is simply swallowing baby universes leading to a sustained cosmic bloating, or in other words, cosmic expansion. It's kind of similar to the way galaxies merge with one another to form the bigger galaxies or black hole mergers, leading to supermassive black holes. And stay with me here, because this actually is a very intriguing theory and one that makes a lot of sense. At the heart of it, the theory explains that our universe is expanding because it keeps colliding with and absorbing other smaller universes. This theory also suggests that dark energy might have a simple intuitive explanation after all, and that a model for this might fit the data better than the standard cosmological model. Although the concept of multiple universes is not new, this research used a mathematical framework to investigate the potential consequences of such interactions on the evolution of our universe. And calculations showed that universe mergers can not only explain the cosmic expansion, but also the rate at which it is expanding. But that's not all. There are several cosmological anomalies this theory seems to solve. Number one, 
cosmic inflation. The standard model of cosmology explains that immediately after the Big Bang in the first few milliseconds, the universe went through an ultra-rapid expansion called the cosmological inflation. The why of it is still a puzzle. The new study, however, suggests this super-rapid early expansion could have been caused by our young universe being absorbed by a larger parent universe. From there on, our newly enlarged universe then continued to collide with other baby universes and incorporate them as well. Number two stars older than the universe. Now this is my theory. And let me tell you that the researchers did not pinpoint this. But if our universe is a result of multiverse mergers, then that would explain stars like Methuselah, which seem to be way older than our universe itself. Number three galaxies beyond the cosmic dark ages. Before the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, the standard model of cosmology proposed that it would take the first galaxies in the universe nearly a billion years to form since the Big Bang. Observations with the Hubble Telescope and recently with the Webb Telescope shows that that is not the case. We have found galaxies lurking as far as 350 million years after the Big Bang. Not just that, we have recently found black holes as old as 400 million years after the Big Bang, too. Number four, the universe might be younger as per a new study. Imagine the universe is like a gigantic puzzle. Scientists led by Professor Glowkey wanted to understand how some pieces of this puzzle in this case galaxy groups behave. To do this, they looked at data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which is one of the largest, most detailed, and most often cited astronomical surveys that has ever existed. During this survey, scientists focused on how satellite galaxies move around massive galaxy groups, but this time by doing something different. This time, they paid special attention to pairs of satellite galaxies on opposite sides of these big galaxy groups. Scientists investigated the speed of galaxy pairs, akin to observing cars in a city, and found that some pairs moved in a way, suggesting recent addition to galaxy groups, contrary to computer simulations. The significant discrepancy between observations and simulations implies that these massive galaxy groups in the real universe are younger than initially thought. This youthfulness could extend to massive structures in the entire universe, challenging previous estimates. The age of these galaxy groups is interconnected with the universe's age, suggesting a potential revision to calculations derived from the cosmic microwave background by the Planck observation. Lead scientist Queen Gu, in a study published in Nature Astronomy, emphasizes the need for a re-evaluation of cosmic timelines, hinting at a younger universe than previously understood. While the universe merger theory could address cosmological problems, only observational data can validate it with ongoing experiments examining the microwave background. The Euclid and James Webb Space Telescopes aim to provide more insights, and time will reveal which theory best describes our universe fundamentally. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy.